So now we're going to go into graphing of exponentials and logs. Yay, happy face, because you're so excited about tomorrow. Um, <laughs> hey, Richie. It's Thursday morning and Richie's still at home. It's online now. Proof. So, I'm just going to draw you the basic graphs and let you get an understanding of how it kind of works. So the reason this happens is because, let's say, 2 to the 0 equals 1. So this point is 0, 1. Now, 2 to the power of, like, say, 10 is like 1,024. So it gets really big really fast. And 2 to the power of minus 10 is 1 on 1,024. So this is tiny, but it's still above 0. It's not nothing. It's like having a tiny slice of a giant pie. That's what 2 to the power of minus 10 is. It's almost nothing. You know, it's pretty much worthless. But it's not 0. And that's why, and that's, this, is the, this is actually the asymptote. Because 2 to the x is always greater than 0. Or well, 2 to the x is, does never equal 0. So the asymptote here is y equals 0. Okay? So that's 2 to the x. That's our graph of our exponential. I'll show the graph of log 2 of x. And it looks like this. It's the exact inverse of it. If you want to see, I could plot for you two to the x on the same graph, and it would look something like that. And there'd be a perfect mirror image along this line, y equals x. Now, the asymptote for this one was y equals zero. The asymptote for this one is a, is a vertical one, x equals zero. So to summarize this information, how you need to keep it in your head is like this. Exponential looks like this. It gets bigger, and its asymptote is y equals zero. A log looks like this, and its asymptote is x equals 0. So I'll show you how to use that in a few equations, uh, how to graph things now. So if I give you this, let's say 10 to the 2x minus 3 plus 3, what would that look like? First we draw our axes. Then we need to consider three things. It's nice. I want to know the shape. I want to know where the, uh, where the asymptote is, maybe where the x, y plus y intercepts are. And you can consider them in any order you like, but this is kind of what I'm going to need to draw because we're going to have to put this in, we're going to have to put the asymptote in, and we're going to have to have the shape. So these are, these are the three things you need to consider for like any graph. This is like special. Um, so here the first thing is where's the, uh, the shape? The shape is going to look like that because this is positive and the number in front of x is positive. Um, so we know it's going to look something like this. Next, we need to figure out where the asymptote is. So we know the exponential part, this entire thing, will never equal zero. It will always be approaching zero. So if we move it up by three, instead of being y equals zero, we're going to have y equals three. So that is our asymptote. Now, we're lucky in this case because we can just draw the graph already. It only is one is set. It's going to look something like that. And we don't have to worry about scales too much. Um, we can just change the scale way later. So the only thing left to do is figure out this intersect. It's not going to intersect with the axis because the y asymptote is here. It's not going to go below this y asymptote. That number. So the x-intercept is when, I mean, the y-intercept is when x equals 0. We get 10 to the 2x minus 3, but x is now 0, so it becomes 10 to the minus 3 plus 3, becomes 1 on 1,000 plus 3, so it's up here. We can just go 3 plus 1 on 1,000. Yeah, and that's how you draw an exponential graph. I'll show you how to draw a log graph now. So let's say log 2x plus 3 minus 3. It's a little bit out of focus, so I'm just going to focus in a bit. That's better. It's a bit messy. Um, but I hope it makes sense. Richie, does it make sense? Does it look like it makes sense? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, again, we need to consider a shape. So, this shape's going to look like this, okay? Mm -hmm. This is positive, 
and you know that's positive. So it's going to look something like that. Consider the asymptote. That occurs when remember we can't get log of we can't get log of zero. Log of zero doesn't exist on this graph. On this graph, log of zero doesn't exist, and that is actually our asymptote. So when do we get zero? We know we can't. That can't equal zero. Therefore, two x plus three can't equal zero. Actually, your head is shaking everything. Two um, x can't equal negative three. X can't equal negative three on two. So our asymptote is here. Negative three on two. All you need to do for the asymptote is make the inside of the bracket equal zero, and then calculate what x should be. That's how you find the asymptote. So this is negative 3 on 2. And now we get to draw our graph. But here, the issue with drawing our graph, we know it's going to look like this, or it's going to look like that. Or it could even go through both parts. So we need to figure out the intercepts first. So x-intercept, the easy one. Um, I mean, the y-intercept is the easy one. y-intercept is when x equals 0, you get y equals log of 3 minus 3. Let me tell you what the base was, so let's make it 2. And this is 2 to the power of what equals 3. It's less than 2 to the power of something equals 4. So this is about between 1 and 2. So this is going to be negative. So the y-intercept is going to be like over here somewhere. Good. So we can't simplify that. So we just write log 2 of 3 minus 3. Um, Next, if we want to find the x-intercept, what we need to do is make this entire thing equal 0. So we've got 0 equals log 2 of 2x plus 3 minus 3. We can get the 3 over equals log 2 of 2x plus 3. And just like in the previous video, to get rid of a log 2, you've got 2 to the power of both sides. So 2 to the power of 3, which is 8, equals 2x plus 3. Therefore, 5 equals 2x. Therefore, x equals 5 on 2. And this is 5 on 2. So we know our graph is going to look like this. So that should help. Um, the next video will be showing you how to get an equation from a graph. Okay.